thank you, Dr. To our distinguished guest, Secretary Frederick Ball of the Office of the Special Assistant for Investment and Economic Affairs, Secretary Alfredo Pascual of the Department of Trade and Industry, Mr. Sabin Boitiz, Strategic Convener from the Private Sector Advisory Council, Ms. Venina Manjo, President of the Philippine Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Ms. Sarah Murphy, From the American Chamber of Commerce to Philippines, Sarah Murphy. Manuel Panoan, Vice President of the Management Association of the Philippines. <laughs> Mr. Gilbert, representing the Asian Institute of Management. <laughs> Dr. Enrico Basilio, Director of the University of the Philippines National College of Public Administration. Dr. Roberto Gallam, Dean of Ateneo John Gokwey, School of Management. Mr. Rosalina, representing the Buclod Bayani Coalition. Mr. Dato Habib Ambuloto, Governor of Bangsamoro Board of Investment. Mr. Sagar Siva Shankar, Operations Officer and Country Advisory and Economic East Asian Pacific Award his Her Excellency, Ambassador He Kyung Yu from the Australian Embassy. <laughs> Ambassador Sonek Se, Banek Se from the Laos Embassy. <laughs> Ambassador Constant C from the Singapore Embassy. <laughs> Ambassador Agu Agus Wijojo from the Indonesian Embassy. <laughs> Ambassador Dato Abdul Malik Melvin Castellino from the Malaysian Embassy. <laughs> Ambassador Miguel Gutre from the Embassy of Spain. <laughs> Ambassador Ilan Floss from the Israel. the UK Embassy, <laughs> Ambassador Lee Samwon from the South Korean Embassy, <laughs> Ambassador Andreas <laughs> from the German Embassy. <laughs> from our beloved organization, the Anker Red Table, Secretary Ernesto Perez, Under Secretary Genesis Abbott, <laughs> Officer in Charge, Under Secretary Conception Zeni Perolino Enan, <laughs> and of course our key director, Director Marvina Marvida, <laughs> Director Alice Fernandez, <laughs> Director Ramindranath Kilala. To all our friends and partners from the private sector, colleagues and government, a blessed morning to all of you. It has only been a few weeks since we welcomed the new year, and yet here we are, entering a new milestone as we hold this important event. Okay, so let's acknowledge uh, Secretary Ko. <laughs> And so it is my honor to formally welcome you all to the economic and ease of doing business briefing with the theme from red tape to red carpet, charting progress through strategic investment and boosting economic opportunities. We are pleased to witness various government agencies, partners from the private sector and academia, as well as members of the diplomatic board coming together and sharing our common goal of promoting ease of doing business in the Philippines. The Anti-Relative Authority by its mandate under Republic Act number 11032 and further fueled by President Ferdinand Marcos Jr.'s directive to remove bureaucratic red tape in government has made profound efforts to put forward different activities 
and strategies that lead to ease of doing business and efficient government service delivery. Five years after its institutionalization, ARTA remains committed to strengthening its initiatives and interventions, such as process streamlining, re-engineering, regulatory review, digital transformation, and legal enforcement of requirements specified under the EOTP law. Through projects and activities such as national policy on regulatory management system or NPRMS, the electronic business, business process management, compliance inspections in covered government agencies and LGUs, and acting on complaints to name a few. Through the years, ARTA has likewise given priority to forging important and beneficial partnerships with government institutions, the academe, as well as the private sectors, including business chambers and foreign government partners. Indeed, the collaborative effort fostered through such partnerships has significantly contributed to the success of ARTA's program to advance the country's business plan. Today, we recognize the importance of strategic investments in furthering our goal to promote the ease, the business environment in the Philippines. As a theme of our Penn State, from red tape to red carpet, it is our passion and duty in ARTA to empower government agencies to enhance their processes and regulatory quality, offer convenient and effective service delivery, and do away with them. Bureaucratic red tape, visual boost opportunities, and entice more and more business to open, operate, thrive, and even expand here in the country. That's what we need. As we go along the program for today's activity, we will hear the most recent updates on ARTA's EODV initiatives. Following this will be a keynote speech to be delivered by no less than the special assistant to the president. For Investment and Economic Affairs, Secretary Frederick Goh. We are fortunate to be graced by Secretary Goh, as we will also have a fireside chat, during which all guests are encouraged to voice insights and queries related to economic opportunities and ease of doing business. We are also graced with the presence of some of the most notable partners of their anti rating authority, where we will hear their messages of support which will undoubtedly boost our motivation to continue what has been started and do even more in order to implement our mandate in the best way. In the latter part of the program, we'll witness a ceremonial signing of the Memorandum of Agreement between ARTA and Buklut Bayani Coalition. All in all, through this briefing, we aim to start the year right by expanding awareness of the government's existing and planned efforts to uplift the economy to increase competitiveness and ease of business. Furthermore, it is with this event we continue to pave the way toward progress, inclusive growth, governance, and overall economic development. So without further ado, I once again welcome you all to the economic and ease of doing business briefing. And I encourage you to participate and make the most out of this avenue to learn and learn insights on all matters related to ease of doing business. So once again, thank you and a great morning to all.